Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal and today I'm gonna be doing a video that is like one of my favorite videos to watch here on YouTube. It's going to be a beauty haul. I just love watching what people just purchase and what's new in the market. So that's just the best and easiest way to find out what's new and what's hot. So let's start first with the one that is not makeup. So this is the Dental Calculus Remover. If you want to clean your, your teeth at home, this is the perfect um, device to use. So I don't know if you can see, but in here it says Dental Calculus Remover. I don't know what that means, but I got this to clean my teeth. So I'm going to show you guys the device. So this is one of those electronic beauty tools that I'm collecting at the moment. So inside you get three things so inside you get three things this is the device to clean your teeth if you guys go to the dentist which i'm sure you do um this is one of those things that they remove um your um, tartar with this is just something that is portable and you can use at home and if you see this i'm sure you guys are very familiar with this and this is what the dentists use to remove the tartar or to clean your teeth but if you want to clean your teeth at home you can definitely use this i've tried this and it really really works um, i'm not sure if you guys want a separate review for this but it's actually really really good it vibrates just like what the dentists use um, at first i thought that the metal was rotating as they're cleaning my teeth but it's actually not it's it's just the same and there's just one button here and oh my gosh this just reminds me so much of when i was reviewing my wash removal pen but as you can hear it's vibrating right now and there are different options so this is soft and clean and work so the third one is actually the highest it's vibrating what you do is to use this metal part to clean your teeth like around your gums like, like don't ever poke your gums or anything like that so this is just to clean your teeth and make sure that you don't have tartar or whatever is whatever it is that you want to remove like do i, do I even need to go into details yeah, so i got that and i'm very very satisfied and very impressed with this because it really really works all right so the next one that i got oh my gosh i'm very very excited for this one okay so this is the makeup eraser and it comes in a pack of three so this is a set of three and normally you can just buy this individually and this is actually very pricey for a makeup remover that doesn't have any other ingredients it's just a towel which is supposed to remove your makeup with just water and towel that's it you don't need to use a makeup remover all you need is just water and this towel and it's just going to magically remove your makeup i don't know what's in this but i watched a lot of reviews and, and they said that it works and it's for me to find out but i'm really really so excited to try this because like i said i've been wanting to try this and when i found this set this set actually originally cost 60 dollars but i'm gonna put everything in the description box how much i got it and where else you can find this because this is a limited edition they came out with this during the holiday season and uh, like i said this is 60 dollars or i think 3,000 pesos and each um makeup eraser costs for about 1,000 pesos or 20 dollars so that's really pricey that is why i'm very interested to know if this is gonna work or not if it's worth the money or waste of money we're gonna find out okay so now we're gonna move on to what you came here for so here are the makeup products so first we're gonna start with i think we're gonna start with the palette i actually didn't get too much it's just a couple of things that i want to show you guys i got this beauty glazed pressed powder eyeshadow this is the color studio palette you guys know that beauty glaze is one of my favorite brands from overseas and their eyeshadows and most of their products are actually really really good and but i'm gonna open this and let me know what you guys think okay and i'm sure that you guys are thinking oh it looks like the james charles palette well it does and i'm very sure that this was inspired by that let me know um if i'm wrong but this definitely reminds me so much of the james charles collaboration with morphe i had their palette before which was the dupe for the jaclyn hill 
Morphe palette. So I think that most of the Beauty Glaze palettes are dupes for Morphe palettes. I know that Beauty Glaze just recently came out with another palette that looks just like my Morphe Boss Mood palette. So um, I haven't tried that yet. I already have the Boss Mood palette so I figured I don't need it. I wanted to test out something that I don't have and I don't have a palette like this that has all these pops of colors and uh, the rainbow, all the rainbow colors are here so it's a palette that I can use for absolutely any makeup look. So. I'm, I can't wait to do a makeup look using this. So um, I heard that this is really good. Um, someone said that this is hard to work with. I am going to find out. If something is like hard to use, I'll always find a way to make it work and make it work perfectly. So um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this right here and save it for another video. And then I got two lipsticks from the brand Kama Kamadu. Kamadu, yeah. So I have two lipsticks from the brand Kamadu. Kamadu. Am I pronouncing that wrong or what? Yeah. Here is the brand name, C M A A D U. But um, the reason why I got this is because I love the pictures that I saw online, the swatches of these. I'm not really sure if in their ad they use their original photo or they used the one from Huda Beauty because it's supposed to be a do for the Huda Beauty lipstick. I have two shades 03 and 01. So 03 is a pink, like a bright pink. And this is the packaging. I'm sure it reminds you so much of the Huda Beauty lipstick and the Huda Beauty lipsticks are, they have the metallic version but this is just beautiful. It's two-toned and ombre. It has a sticker which indicates the shade number. And then this is the lipstick. Okay, so the thing about this is when I first opened this lipstick, it was smashed. Like the tip of the lipstick was completely smashed. I already fixed this. I just wiped off the smashed part. And as you can see the inside, you can see that it's smashed in there. I actually did a little bit of research about this lipstick and I went to AliExpress and I wanted to see the customer feedbacks and you guys know that a lot of Europeans ordered these lipsticks so most of the reviews are from Europe and I saw that their lipsticks came smashed as well so mine came from China to Philippines and it's already smashed. It doesn't really matter if it's from if it's traveling long or short but the point is the packaging is kind of um, flimsy i think because it comes right off like this part is very cheaply made so it just falls everywhere and all you have to do is stick it right in there and then it's it still works but only the packaging is just poorly made it's not really safe especially when it's being shipped so yeah, that is my um, initial thoughts, but I mean, the color is actually really nice. It's supposed to be a glittery lipstick. I wish you can see the swatches. I'm gonna put it right here. Um, the swatches were so beautiful. That is why I was like, okay, I need to get that because I love glittery things. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while now, I am obsessed with glitters. But when I first swatched this, I mean, okay, there's a little bit of glitter there. Um, but um, it's not as glittery and sparkly as the one in the swatches that they showed. I mean, some some photos can be really deceiving online, but it's not really a bad color, but it's just that um, it still has glitters, it still has shimmers, but it's not as sparkly and intense as the one in their swatches. But there is something very, very special about these lipsticks. And I'm going to be telling you guys that in my separate review for these. Alright, so this is 03. And this one, I don't even know why I got this because the color looks completely different from their swatches. It looks like a bright uh, fuchsia pink color, which was so, so beautiful. Like, it really caught my attention. And this is the shade 03. And this is how it looks like. It looks really dark. It looks really dark. It al looks almost like a grape color. Okay, so this one is more glittery than 01. Um, you can't really tell in the video, but I'm going to show you guys 
close-ups um, when I review this. I'm gonna use a different camera. I'm just using my phone to film this so um, I can't really zoom in for you guys but yeah. You can see that there's shimmers there but it's just not as sparkly as the swatches which I'm kind of disappointed but for the price I don't even want to complain because it's super cheap. I think I have last product. Okay so the last product that I got Oh my gosh, I forgot that I have this foundation. Well, I also ordered the Fira, it's spelled like this, P-H-O-E-R-A, and I choose to read it as Fira, just because, like Phoebe, Fuera, Fira, okay. So, um, this is their, this is supposed to be one of the world's full coverage foundation, as I've heard from so many reviews, but this is the Fira soft matte longwear liquid foundation this packaging kind of reminds me so much of a foundation but i forgot what brand probably the ordinary brand like a skincare brand but when you open this this is the foundation and it has no cover it's just a pump without a cover which is weird i wish they put like cover so that if you're gonna bring this with you in the travel it helps that it has a cover so it says here it's a coverage foundation naturally flawless oil controlling and lightweight feel and i'm happy that when i saw this i got my correct shade so yeah and i saw a lot of people review this so i can't really wait to test this out um this is a i heard that this is a good foundation it's super cheap so and the last few products that i got are eyeshadows now when i saw these online i like i went crazy the swatches were amazing they were eye candy I just love the duochrome chameleon look to it. So, okay, these are the Kamadu Optical Chameleon Eyeshadows. So as you can see, these are like chameleon um, duochrome eyeshadows. So I got four of them. The first one is 04, which is like, uh, like a reddish eyeshadow with a green shift to it. I don't know if you can see, but in certain angles it looks red and sometimes it looks green so that is why it's called duochrome and then the next one that i have here is like a red with a yellow shift so beautiful this next one is a blue with a purple shift beautiful color the last one that i got is a blue shade with a green shift okay so i already swatched this when i got them but um, I already have my thoughts about this, like I have good and bad thoughts. I just watch them, but I never try them on my eyes yet, but um, I kind of have an initial reaction the moment I swatch this the first time, and I want to say so many things about this eyeshadow, but I'm going to save it for my review of these. So yeah, I think that's everything that I got. Do I have anything else? I think that's everything that I got for this haul. And I thought it's going to be a very short video, but it's actually now 22 minutes in my phone. So that is it for my beauty haul. Um, I always enjoy sharing with you guys beauty hauls just because I feel like you guys are my sisters, my friends, and we feel like that close and I just enjoy sharing with you guys the things that I got and maybe you, you guys are interested in the products that I got and it's a way for me to show you guys what's gonna be my upcoming videos as well so that is it for my video I hope you guys enjoyed it again don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you guys again next time